Star family, signs of land, signs of land, signs of land. Ah. Oh, you guys, I was just talking about this with someone yesterday. Literally, no, I actually think it was this morning with my, my person in my bedroom. Don't get it twisted. It was early morning, we just wanted to be warm. But it was, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm just so excited to share a win. <laughs> uh, not to say I, your girl hasn't been winning, but it has felt like an uphill battle. You feel me? So I'm just super excited, about to go for a walk before. I just wanted to come on and celebrate this with you guys because today is a beautiful day. And it is the great conjunction, it's the solstice, we're moving into a new age, the age of Aquarius, and also today is a day that I received signs of land. What does that mean, Marissa? Well, signs of land, when, you know, when voyagers first set out for a new voyage, for a new adventure, they were in the middle of the sea for however long, right? And sometimes their journey probably felt tumultuous. Sometimes they were probably within stormy weather. Sometimes they probably found themselves wondering if they would ever really make it or if this new earth or this new world, this new land that they felt was beckoning them to it, if they would ever actually see it. So signs of land pretty much is when they would see a bird or they would just see little things like driftwood floating close by because birds can will only fly as far out as safe for them so they have somewhere to perch on right and so even if we can't see even if the voyagers couldn't see the land they would see signs of it through these birds or the driftwoods etc i'm sure there's other things that they would spot or look for and so i was just telling someone about this like acknowledge the signs of land that you see the tiny tiny things that confirm to you your reality is not only possible, but it is well on its way. And so your girl has been going uphill, it feels like, and I've just known, I just know I'm so convicted in my path, in my direction, through what my guides communicate through meditation, through what I know to be true, regardless of how many insecurities and misbeliefs and people leave my life and things crumble away, I know for a fact, that's just all part of it, right? And so I've been kind of sharing you with you guys the part of things falling away and kind of crumbling apart as I have left new, I've left old territory, old lands. But today it, it's so beautiful because today I received signs of land and my vision and my passion and my purpose being able to sustain me on every level because energetically I am so sustained, I am so fulfilled, I feel so good in what I get to do and what I get to talk about and connecting with you guys on all different platforms. It fills all of my cups. And it was about five years ago that I was making a good chunk of change on YouTube through ad revenue when I first started my channel and you know, different things called me in different directions for different reasons. And it's been a while, but today I received a really good sign of land <laughs> from YouTube and it just feels good. It's so interesting too, because I was just talking, I was just wondering yesterday, I was like, hmm, I wonder if this month will be the month. And yeah, it just feels really good. You know what I mean? It feels like <sighs> that. It just feels like a sigh of relief because, you know, when you're in it, when you're on your voyage, you want to believe it. You, you, we respond to the archetype of the hero, hero's journey for a reason. It's because we understand that the most amount of freedom, the most amount of strength, the most amount of character built is within those losses. It's in those triumphs, those victories. It's within the defeats. It's, it's within all of it. But what makes it so worth it is getting up time and time and time and time again. It's not about never falling down, right? But it's about getting up every time. And uh, believe it or not, it has been a challenge to get back up again and again after, you know, <laughs> I'm sure everyone's in the same boat in their own way. Just, you know, sharing, you know, my journey in particular, it's, it's definitely been a challenge watching things crumble away and still holding true to the vision regardless and you know i'm seeing signs of land you know the people that comment on videos the people that like the videos and share the videos uh just watch the videos like that is a sign of land too so i'm just communicating this message was about when you are 
on your path and you are living your divine destiny and you are pouring 100% into your vision, you're leaving no back doors because you know as creator, as creatress incarnate, it is your birthright to align with the highest reality and to manifest it, watch for the signs of land, right? There's gonna be signs of you leaving your old reality, your old land behind, and that is part of it. I'm realizing that I haven't been focusing enough on the signs of land, which is uh, something that came through really deeply in, in meditation and you know why I shouted out a bunch of people on a video the other day, because I am redevoting my energy to watching for the signs of land and not watching for those beings and those people and those things that naturally I have to leave behind in order to make this voyage, make this transition, continue this journey in a way that feels the most authentic and free and aligned and just freaking awesome for me. So watch for those signs of land, my friends. And if you're in it, which you are, regardless of how that looks right now, if you're watching these types of videos, you're in it. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. And we are in it. And the highest timeline is inevitable for humanity. And it's just so beautiful to be on the planet at this time. Uh, yeah. But oh, I'm so excited. Oh, so cool. All right, friends. We'll talk soon. Much love.